Hi! In this video we learn how to turn two lists of equal length into a dictionary. Naturally, it doesn't make sense with all lists. What we want to do is this. We want to turn the following two lists – countries and capitals – into the following dictionary. There are several ways we can do it. We can, for example, use the for loop, like so. So first we create an empty dictionary, and then we use the for loop to iterate over the elements of these two lists and add the elements to the dictionary. So the elements from the countries list will be added as keys to the dictionary, and the elements from the capitals list will be added as values. Finally, we can print our dictionary. And here it is. Germany, Berlin, Japan, Tokyo, Australia, Canberra. OK. So this is one way. Let me clean the code over here. Now, another approach is to use an iterator. So here are our list again. To create an iterator, we need the method zip. So here we use the method zip to zip these two lists into an iterator. And now if we print the iterator, this is our iterator, this is what we get. Zip object add and here is a location in memory. Okay. And we don't need this line of code anymore. Fine. Then we have to use the method list to convert the list iterator into a list. So here is our list method, and we pass it, which is our iterator, to the method. And what we get is a list of pairs. Here we can print the list of pairs. So as you can see, we have a list of tuples, two tuples. In each tuple, the first element comes from the first list, countries, and the second element comes from the second list, capitals. OK, we don't need this line of code anymore. We can convert this list into a dictionary using the method dict. So here we can do it like so. Dict, and we pass our list of tuples as the argument to the dict method. And now we get a dictionary. And now let's print the dictionary. Yeah, here we have it. Germany, Berlin. Japan, Tokyo. Australia, Canberra. As you can see, this works too, and we get the dictionary we needed. We can achieve the same in a simpler, more direct way. What we can do is pass the zip method as an argument to the dict method, like so. And now we don't need these lines of code anymore. Fine. This looks better. Let me run it. And the result is the same. We get, again, the same dictionary. Germany, Berlin, Japan, Tokyo, Australia, Canberra. Fine. There is one thing we have to know about the zip method. It returns an iterator, not a list. In iterators, the elements get used up, so they can't be used again. Let me demonstrate it in interactive mode. So, here are our lists again. Countries and capitals. Now let's zip them. So our iterator equals zip countries capitals. Okay. And now let's use the iterator to make a list. So list1 equals list and the argument is our iterator. Okay. Now let's make another list using the same iterator. So list2 equals list and the argument is the same iterator. Now let's print list1. As you can see, we get the list of tuples like before. 
Now the iterator gets used up when it's used in the first list. So all the elements go to the first list. And there is nothing left for the second list. If I now try to print the second list, I get an empty list. This is how iterators work. They get used up and we must remember that. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.